Now, residents facing eviction from their mobile home community after the property was sold after taking their concerns to town leaders. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live in Pembroke Park with the update for us. Terrell. As you can imagine, this is one of the biggest obstacles of their lives, but time is ticking and they're running out of options, so they turned to town leaders tonight. We don't know where to go. The frustrations among people on the verge of being forced out of their homes hit Pembroke Park Town Hall. They have employed unlawful evictions and outright discrimination against residents. Town leaders are well aware of the struggle facing all of the hundreds of residents of Lakeside Park Estates. Each got an eviction notice in March, told they'd have to leave in 30 days because the property had been sold. But the owners backtracked and said the timeline was a mistake. You have insulted everyone in this room. There have been tense conversations in a meeting just last week where residents, some of whom invested more than $100,000 into their mobile home, would be offered as little as $2,500 upon leaving. The owner, Trinity Broadcasting Network, a Christian organization. My biggest problem is they do this under the auspices of a church when it's clearly profit-motivated driven behavior. Okay. How this city can help us. It breaks our heart to see that they're doing that to your community. It is a private matter between the business owners and the residents of the park. The city cannot intervene between that. And while the new purchasing owner has yet to be revealed, it appears that entity is seeking city approval to rezone the area for commercial industrial use and to fill in a nearby lake. And that's where these tenants are now focusing their fight. We're thinking about making it so that can't pass, not only just for us, because now it's going to be an environmental hazard as well. So the corporate entity involved has been told by the town to resubmit their proposal that would involve that zoning change. If and when that happens, there would be a public meeting set in front of the planning board to sort of weigh this decision. But these residents, many of them, they plan to be there to try and stop that from happening. But this eviction still stands. They say that they just want fair compensation for what they invested in over the years. Reporting live from Pembroke Park tonight, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. So awful for all those people. Thanks, Terrell.